Hello, everybody. This is Narada Rishi Raja with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. And um, today I want to talk about breath work. Um, it's the favorite, it's my favorite thing that I do. Um, pranayama, which is breath work, um, it's hands down changed my spiritual process. I had been studying Eastern philosophy and practicing for almost two decades now. And several, several years ago is when I consistently got into breath work. And that's when everything changed for me. That's when I started to understand everything that I had read and memorized and could quote back to people like I really lived it, right? But that came through breath work. Learning traditional pranayama, learning how to manage my nervous system. Now, the reason why I'm putting out this video, yes, I want you to schedule a breathwork session with me. Yes, I want you to do my month-long breath program um, and change your life. But the main reason why I'm doing this is because there's a lot of confusion around breathwork. And most people out there that do what I do for a living, they make money out of teaching people, they don't teach people breathwork. <laughs> <laughs> realistically and um that's that's kind of it's kind of entertaining to me um because it negates and takes away so much from the people that we're teaching when we give them just an experience so let me explain wim hof breathing okay that's hyperventilation um your dmt breathing that's hyperventilation. Um, it means that we're increasing the rate and ratio up really, really high, um, which is really good if you're unable to clear your mind, if you have a lot of energy blockages, things like that, that prevent you from clearing your mind. That's what these hyperventilation techniques are, are for. Um, doesn't matter. Theta breathing doesn't, doesn't matter the branded name they want to attach to it. Um, when you're breathing fast, that's a hyperventilation technique, and it will put you in a certain state. Now, like Buteco breathing, right? It's a branded breathing technique. Yes, it is. And they charge people thousands of dollars in order to, to teach it. They charge thousands of dollars for people in order to learn it. And all it is is hypoventilation. It's slowly breathing. Pranayama has been studied for thousands and thousands of years. It's not a new thing. Any new branded technique that you see, it's not new. It's also not worth the money to get the title on there. Unless you're trying to make a business that is introducing people to this like it's something new which is not the most highest ethical thing to do. What's ethical is when we, we really dig into breath work with our clients, when we show our clients what these tips, tools, tricks do. We explain to them the rate and ratio. We give them this. Now, I understand on the other side, experience is very popular right now. Experience gets people out to the session. But if we bring them all the way up in all of this energy of the breath, we release stuff from the nervous system, we make them very, very raw, but either we or we haven't given the information to them don't know what to do with all of that amped up energy or that trauma, if you want to call it that. Um, if we don't know what to do with that, we leave people in a vulnerable state. That's why it's so, so important to really, us as breathwork instructors, teach our, our, our clients the benefit the, and the science of the breath, why it works. If we don't know that yet, that's okay. Let's study some more. Let's learn that process. And then we can really bring pranayama um, to its true glory and what it really has to offer the world. Um, pranayama has always been an advanced yogic technique. Advanced. The reason being is because it will bring up things. If you seek out experiences from one of these branded breath techniques, what'll happen if you don't have a daily 
consistent practice, you're going to bring up all kinds of awarenesses. You're going to start seeing things from a different thing. You're going to be in a vulnerable state. You're not going to know how to operate. That's going to then bring more problems. Unless you seek out a qualified teacher that understands pranayama, has studied it, understands the philosophy behind it, understands all of the intricacies of why we would do it to begin with. And it's a whole lot more than health, folks. It's a whole lot more than just balancing the nervous system, even though that's the most beneficial to us today, right? That we can see and be tangible. No, it does so, so many, many wonderful things. Um, and the reason why I'm explaining this video or doing this video today is to explain when we see these branded techniques, know that even if you learn that, you may not understand breath work. You may not understand why. And if you don't understand why it is you're doing what you're doing, then what you're doing won't bear fruit in the future. Might give you a temporary experience, might give you temporary comfort, but it won't bear fruit in the future. So if you don't know the whys of what it is that you're doing, creates a problem. A lot of these branded techniques, they don't tell you the whys. They don't know the whys, right? Um, so it's something to think about when you're selecting your breathwork instructor. Um, or if you're a breathwork instructor, it's something to think about as far as when you're teaching clients. In order to do the most beneficial thing to humankind and the whole world and to make your business spiritual, we have to teach them all of the whys, not just give them a fun experience or not just give them an experience that looks powerful so it helps out our business. All right, everybody, that's the message I have for you today. I hope that each and every one of you are having a great day on purpose. Stay mindful. Namaskar.